Today I'm working on one of our new Sphinx cylinders and as this is the rough casting as it is out of the foundry and I've started doing uh, some of the port work on it. I've done the transfer ports, um, the heights and the widths and now I have to do the ducts and I have to grind the exhaust port. So right now I'm cutting the exhaust port to height. This is going to be a, a sand dune overall kind of power engine. It's uh, it's not a drag motor. It's got uh, nice broad power for riding in the sand dune. Enough low end to pull a good set of paddles. It'll have great acceleration. It's a 78 millimeter bore. No power valve. And uh, it will be Nicosil. No sleeve in this one. And now I got to do the auxiliary transfer ports. This is kind of a shot of what it looks like. Can you see it? Roughed out. It's the exhaust port. Now I got to work on the auxiliaries. These cylinders come with lower port timings. They're cut to, uh, they're made to our specifications. And this allows us to port the cylinder according to what type of riding or what, you know, what kind of engine characteristics customers are looking for. We use a lot of these motors for dirt track as well as sand in. Some people run motocross and cross country with them. So these cylinders. With this modern port layout that we have on these cylinders, if you put the port timings low enough, they make amazing cross-country cylinders because the additional transfer ports do such a good job of scavenging the cylinder that the power band is much wider. This new design allows us to run more horsepower with less compression, which makes the motor also more reliable. The old cylinders that used to run 230 pounds of compression, these make more power at 180. So that's much easier on the engine, easier to kick start. Same amount of low end, or better, and way better peak horsepower. Not, it's not uncommon to see one of these play motors making 62 horsepower or better. That's pretty good for a little 350. Finishing the auxiliary transfer port height. I still have some transfer port work to do in the port duct and some angle changes, slight angle improvements to make. This cylinder is pretty close to being ready to go to Millennium for Nicosil. Makes a lot of metal chips. Perfect. Now I've got to get uh, 
check the widths. Almost there. trick about porting these cylinders is part of the important work that you do you can't see you have to feel it feel it with your finger some of it can be measured but it's pretty hard to measure because the areas are pretty tight but those are the points that really make a difference Fortunately, these castings are pretty good. There's a few parting lines that have to be ground out, but the castings themselves are very nice. So that really helps. 